today's discussion, we'll be looking at um, how to apply the mnemonics we have learnt in the previous video to solve questions under circle theorem. The mnemonic we've learnt was a circle die triacord. So circle die triacord. So if there is a circle PQRS and the center is O, the center is O, we have to find the angle X. We have to find the angle X. So let's see how to use that. So we know our mnemonic was our mnemonic was circle the circle circle die try a chord try a chord right good so the first thing to tackle is the circle we want to check if there is a circle within this or angle at a point yeah there's a circle here and angle at a point say so the total angle here should give us what 360 degrees so this should give us 360 degrees so we know angle p o r this is the center p o r should add up to this give us 360 degrees so to find this particular one the p o r this particular portion we have to subtract it from 360. So we know angle P O R should give us what 360 degree, right? Minus what 204. So that's 204, which is going to give us what 156 degree, 156 degree. So we know very well that this particular angle here is going to give us 156 degree, 156 degree. So if that angle is 156 degree, what do we do? We realize that now we've finished tackling, tackling the circle right now we are going to die that means is there any diameter there is no diameter in this diagram okay because diameter is any angle any line that passes through the center to the two circumferences so there is no or divide the circle into two using the center there's no diameter here so i'll cancel diameter now let me try triangle try means triangle and a chord so is there a triangle yes we have two triangle here one of the triangle here moves towards one of this triangle here moves to the center and another triangle moves toward the circumference one triangle moves to the center and that triangle moves to the circumference so we'll tackle the triangle that ends at the center before we tackle the triangle that ends at the circumference we say the triangle that forms at the center is called an isosceles triangle so we know triangle p o r p o r so the angle the triangle triangle the triangle p o r is what isosceles, right? Isosceles, isosceles triangle. So if this isosceles triangle, P O R is isosceles triangle, we say the angle that will be here should be equal to the angle that is here. So if this place we put Y here, here will also be what Y. Is that okay? If we put Y there, then here will also be Y. So what do we do? We know if I add up the total angle in a triangle, it should be add up to Y eighty degrees. So if I do Y plus Y, okay, plus what? What do we get for this angle? One fifty six plus one fifty six degree should give us what 180 so we know that's what 2y plus 156 should give us what 180 degrees so i'm going to get 2y equal to what 180 minus 156 degree and what are you going to get implies that our 2y should give us what should give us 78 right should give us 156 no this was 204 so the angle is 204 156 should give us 180. So if I subtract that one from it, what will I get? I'm going to get 24, right? I want to get 24. So 2y equal to what? 24 divided by 2, divided by 2. So you are going to get what? You are going to get y to be equal to 12. So if I get 12, it means angle here, which is 12, here also be what? 12, right? That's good. Okay, good. Now we are to non tackle the, we are finding the value for x, and we know that. We now have another triangle, right? Another triangle. And this triangle is what? P R S or P S R. But then after that triangle, so I'll come back to this triangle, means we have another triangle to tackle. Okay, which is P S R. But let's check whether there is a chord. There is a chord here. And the chord, we said S S. Remember the chord? There's a principle we call S S. If we are the same chord and we are going to the same direction, our angle should be the same. S S. Don't forget about chord. The same chord going to the same direction, the angle should be the same. But the moment one comes to the center, the one going to the center of theta is two. Ideally, SS, if you have the same chord and we are going to the same direction, the same direction, it should be the same angle. But the moment you come to the center, your theta is two. So this angle, this chord the PR, the chord PR here, it moves the center here, and the same P chord PR here moves the circumference. So the one going to the circumference will take half of the one that is going to the center. So we said the angle PSR, angle PSR, angle PSR should take half of, should take what, half of what? The angle that is come to the center. So half of what? Angle POR. Is that okay? Which is going to give us 
half of what? 156, right? This angle is 156. 156. And it's going to give us 78 degrees. So you know this means what? 78 degrees. Good. How come? How do you do it? We said the same chord, one, it moves to the center. The same chord again moves to the circumference. The chord moving to the center should take time. It's two of the one going to the circumference. Or we can say that the one going to the circumference will take half of the one going to the center. That's like we have 78 degrees here. So let's say so we, are, we are done with the chord. Now the triangle, we are left with one triangle that you have to tackle. So the triangle PSR. So we know triangle PSR here. Okay, the total angle in triangle PSR should give us 180 degrees. Right? So we are going to add all the angle in triangle PSR to give us 180 degrees. So we know let's start from here. So we are going to get 78 degrees plus what? What do you have here? 54 plus y by y is what? 12. We've gotten 12 for y. So plus 12 plus under 12 plus our x should give us what? 180 degrees. If you add up everything, it's 78, 54, 12, and 12. You are going to get that of what? You are going to get 156 degrees. So you are going to have x plus 156 should give us what? 180 degrees. So x should give us what? 180 degree minus 156 and our x is equal to what? Our x will be equal to 24 degree and that is it for the value for x. So that's how we find our x. So here we have to find, they say if O is the center, find the value of x. So this question, I'm going to use my mnemonic circle die try a chord. So circle, I want to check if there is a circle somewhere. There's no circle here. Have you seen it? There's no circle here. There's no circle at the center. So if there's a circle at the center, I use, but there's no circle at the center. So I'm done with the circle. So let me write the circle, circle, die, try, chord. So here there's no circle. I've come to the circle. Now I'll go to die. There's no diameter here, so, so I'll come to diameter. I'm left line with triangle and a chord. So can't be silly. You have two triangles here. One triangle going to the center, and another triangle going to the circumference. We said the moment they have a triangle in the center, the angle here is going to be an isosceles triangle, right? So if here is x, here will also be x, right? So let me tackle that one. So you know if here is x, I can put x here as well. Why? Because isosceles triangle. Good. Now, let me still go. Now, let's go to a chord. Is there a chord here? Yeah, there's a chord here. Any line that I join the circumference. So we said chord. If they are going to the same direction, what should happen? Same direction, the angle should be the same. But the one going to the center, this chord, this is the chord. This chord decided to go to the center. The same chord decided to go to the circumference. We said the one that is going to the center will take time is two of the one going to the circumference. So the angle that is the one going to the circumference is or, uh, circumference P R Q. And the chord, the same chord that is going to the center is P O R. So we know angle P O R. Our angle P O R will take time is two of the one going to the circumference is P time is two of what P R Q. PRQ. So angle POR will give us what? 2 times what? 30 degrees. So our angle, angle POR now should give us 60 degrees. So you know here is going to be 60 degrees. Don't forget. So good. Now that we tackle the chord, we are done with the chord. There's nothing about the chord again. But we have the triangle. They say the triangle, there are two things here. We are not done using the triangle to solve. So I'm coming back to the triangle. We said the triangle here, assisted triangle, whatever angle here, the same as angle. So we know total angle in the triangle. Okay. So we know total angle in the triangle add up to 180. So we know x plus our x, okay, plus what? The angle plus which angle here? 60 degrees should give us what? 180 degrees. So we're going to have 2x plus 60 degrees should give us what? 180 degrees. So we are going to have what? Uh, we are going to have 2x should be equal to what? 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So we are going to have 2x should give us what? 120 degrees. So divide by 2 x 2 divided by 2. So our x will give us what 60 degrees. So x is 60 degrees. And that's how we solve this question as well. You remember. Alright, so this question, if O is the center, find the value of x. So we realize that in this particular question, I want to check if there's a circle. Is there any circle? There's no circle at this point here. Right? So I'll cancel circle. There's no circle here where they give us an angle. Okay. So there's no angle that I can find, so I've circled that one. Diameter, there's no diameter in this question, so I'll cancel the diameter. Now we have a try and a chord. Try a chord means that let's see how to draw a chord. Any two points, okay, that touch this one. You can draw a chord on any two points that touch it, or any two points on the circumference. You can touch. So let's say you can have a chord here. You can have a chord here. 
So if this is a chord, now there's a triangle and there's a chord. What do we say? We say the angle here equal to the angle here. Okay, so let's people look at it. So we have a triangle, we can come at a triangle. Let's circle the chord. We can circle the chord. The chord here, look at it. This chord here is going to the circumference. And this chord is going to another circumference and going to the center. What we say is that, remember, SS, if the same chord, so the circumference, if the, the chord here moves the circumference here, this chord here is going to go into both the circumference here. But we said the moment they are moving in opposite direction, we call them opposite quadrilateral. quadrilaterals. So if this one here, look at it, this circumference, this chord here moves to the the what the circumference. This same chord here is moving to that of under circumference, but it is in opposite direction. You can see this is opposite to this one. So the moment the same chord, they are all moving to the circumference, but in opposite direction. We said we we'll add up to what 180. Or circle quadrilateral, the opposite angles are add up to what 180. So I'm going to write what this angle here, PQR here. So you know angle PQR plus this angle here, which is what PSR, you should add up to 180 degrees. Why are we adding them up? We said the moment you are moving to opposite direction and we are all going to the circumference, the angle, our total angle will add up to 180 degrees. We know this one to be 104, so we are going to write 104 degrees plus angle plus angle PSR should give us what 180 degrees, right? So I'm going to get angle PSR should give us what 180 degree minus 104. So I'm going to get angle PSR should give us what? What will it give us? It's going to give us that of what 76, 76 degree. So we know here is not 76 degree. What can you say about this and this? Can you see any relation? So quickly, we know very well that if the same chord, I'm going to the center and you are going to the second frame, SS, right? Second, we are all going to, to look at the same direction. I mean, this is going to the same direction. The, but the second here is going to the center, and this chord is going to the second frame. We said that one going to the center will take time is two of the one going to the second frame. So we know this angle, which is POR. So angle POR will take time is two of what? The one going to the second frame because they are all going in the same direction. We're going to give us two times what? Angle P. S R. So you know angle P O R, which is our X, okay, which is going to our S, which is X is equal to what? Two times what? P S R. And P S R is what? That of what? 76. So 76 degree. And S is going to give us what? 152 degree. So our S is equal to 152 degree. And that's how we find our X as well. So in this particular question, we have to find the value of Y. If O is the center. Good. So to tackle this particular one, I'll check using any money circle that tricot. There's no circle here that is going to give us angle at a point. So there's no angle at a point. Here, so I'll cancel it. There's a diameter. Have you seen it? There's a diameter because this is a center and there's a straight line that divides the circle to two using the, the circle. So there's a diameter. What do we say about the diameter? We say the total angle, if this is a diameter, if this particular point are a diameter, this is a diameter. Whatever angle that the diameter are going to meet, wherever place the diameter meets, it's going to give a 90 degrees. So this particular diameter here, this is a diameter here, and anywhere it's going to form an angle, that angle is automatically 90 degrees. So no here is going to do automatically 90 degrees. Then why? Because diameter, we say you die at 90. We don't want to die at 90 years. So the diameter here, it forms an angle at what 90 degrees. Good. So we know this angle is 90 degrees. Now have to find why. Now we have it. So we have done, we are tackled the diameter. That's 90 degrees. There's no chord there, can you see? Now, but there's a triangle. We said anytime you're having a triangle that is at the center, what happened? The angle here should be equal to what the angle here, right? Any angle that forms at the, 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 the center. Okay, so if here is 90, sorry, I, 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 I omitted this question. Here should be, you put 20 degrees here, sorry, 20 degrees here. We have to find why. So let's make the down notice. We have to find, so you said any angle in a triangle add up to what? 180 degrees. If here is 20, we have to find the why. Good. So what do we do? So we know 90 plus 20 plus y should give us what? Should give us 180 degrees. Let's take notice of that from the question. So we are going to have 110 degree plus y should give us what? 180 degrees. Right? So we are going to have y to give us what? 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. So y is going to give us what? 70 degrees. And that's it for our y. Alright, so uh, thank you so much for following to this time. Don't forget to subscribe and keep learning as well.